As an empath, it's important for you to step into your power. Otherwise, you will feel that everyone else is running your show. When everything on the outside starts controlling you, you start feeling powerless. And when you completely give your power away, you start feeling that you have no other choice, that this is the only way, that others and the outside world can make me do something. So basically, it's like you are not in the driver's seat of your reality. And the more you normalize this powerlessness, you will get used to being at the back seat. Anyone can come along and make you do things that they want from you. And if you even leave others, our conditioning, our little box of how we have been conditioned, even that can make you do things. If you give your power away completely to those limiting beliefs. So first you have to free yourself from your own limiting beliefs, from your own prison that you have created for yourself. And this prison is like an authoritative energy inside your head that is always judging you, that is always telling you that you have no other choice, that you are supposed to do only this or that. So first you have to realize that you have other choices. You can act a different way. You can step into your power. But for this you need a higher consciousness. A higher consciousness than your own programs, than your conditioning. You have to realize that you are enough, that you deserve better, you are worthy. But your ego can't make you realize all these things because the ego is heavily conditioned. The ego can't see its own bullshit. You need higher awareness for that. So the more you raise your consciousness, the more aware you become in your life, the more you can see your own toxic patterns, the more you can see your own little box, the conditioning. Once you become aware of that, now you have to take step, take action towards breaking the pattern, towards breaking out of your own prison. This is the first step. No program, no conditioning, no amount of fear can make you do things in your life. You are the master of your reality. You are not a victim of it. Life is not choiceless. You always have a choice. So when you say that certain things or whatever program you have in yourself is making you do something, are you in even control of your reality? Are your programs, are your conditionings driving your life? So awareness is realizing that my conditioning is not me. It was something that was imposed on me, but I choose to be a different person. I choose to take my power back by realizing I do have a choice to act differently to break the pattern and be aware and be conscious. So first, be free from the authoritative energy that is inside your own head, that is constantly making you think that you don't have any other choice, that you are not enough, that you are not worthy. If you become free from your own prison, it becomes really easy to be free from the outside factors because the outside is a reflection of your inside. It's simply a projection of whatever you feel about yourself on the inside. That's what you experience. That's what you attract. That's what you manifest. So when someone in the outside is trying to make you do something, then you will be able to stand up for yourself. Then you will have that empowerment. Then you can say no to people that I have a choice. You can't make me do something. I am not a victim. I create my reality. So that empowerment can only come when you have a higher awareness. When you are thinking for yourself basically, when you are putting yourself first and you are free from the versions of stories of you in other people's mind. When you are just concerned about your own story, not in a selfish way, not in a manipulative way, but in a self-loving way, where you realize your worth, you know that you are enough and you deserve to be in the driver's seat of your reality, that no program, no fear internally and no outside factor, whether it's people, places, circumstances, can tell you who you are and what you should do. You have a choice. You always have a choice. And every time you step into your power, you say no to those energies, you set clear boundaries, you stand up for yourself, you speak your truth. Every time you do that, you take your power back. Every time you break a pattern, you take your power back. So we are not here to be victims. We are not here to feel powerless. We are here to take our power back. And the greatest power is the power of love. So be connected to the power of love. That you are standing of yourself, not for your ego, but for love. That you love yourself that much. 
that you deserve better, that you know you are enough. And the greatest power is power of love. The ego can think that the greatest power is of money, it's of prestige, status. But it's all surface level. It has no depth to it. But love is real power because it is rooted in oneness. It is not rooted in separation. Every kind of power that the ego is after, it is rooted in separation. There is an authority and there are the people below it. There is a hierarchy, a pyramid scheme. But in the power of love, there is nothing like that. There is only oneness. There is no space for any authority there. Because you realize that we all are one. So be connected to the power of love. Be empowered. Speak your truth. Step up for yourself. Speak for yourself and realize you always have a choice. This is your life. No one else can create it for you. You have that power. You are born with that power. Just realize it again. Come back to your original nature, your original self, your higher self and be guided by that. Don't be driven by the fears of your ego. Be guided by the power of love of your higher self. Much love to you all.